Hi, it's me, Olga. Today I will teach you how to make a stuffed teddy bear made out of rainbow loom rubber bands. The materials we're going to need are four different colors of rubber band, a crochet hook, a fiber fill or a cotton fill, a stitch marker or a C clip. Two buttons or safety eyes 14 millimeters in size. Let's get started. First, let's make the arm. Make two of this. First, let's make the magic ring. Using this mini loom, wrap your white rubber band around this mini loom three times. So this is your magic ring. For round one, the pattern is six single chain or six single stitch and a magic ring. So grab your rubber band, make a loop, then hook the first loop and then pull through the other loop. So this is our first single stitch. Put it to the side. Search your hook on the magic ring. Grab a rubber band. Pull through. Make a loop. This time there are three loops. And then hook the first loop and pull through the other two loops. Now we have two single stitch. We will make four more of this to complete the round. So third single stitch. What single stitch? Five, and last one, six single stitch. Let's remove this from the mini loom. Now we have completed a round one. We should end up having six chains. Round two, the pattern is two single stitch or increase in every chain. On the first chain, insert your hook, grab a rubber band, pull through, make a loop, then grab the first loop and pull through the other two loops. Now we have our first single chain on round two. Then insert again on the same loop chain, then grab a rubber band, pull through, make a loop, and then hook the first loop and then pull through the other two loops. Now we have completed our increase. First increase. On the second chain, do another increase. So, two single chains. I'm in two single stitch on the same chain. So one and two. Now repeat this pattern four more times. On the third chain, fourth chain. Increase on a fifth chain. Then increase on the last chain. So 
let's put a stitch marker in the last stitch you should end up having 12 chain 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 for round 3, the pattern is we will increase in every second chain. So one single stitch, then two single stitch in the second chain. Begin. Insert your hook on the first chain and put one single stitch. And on the second chain, we will increase or we will put two single stitch. So one and two. Repeat this pattern six six times. So we've done the first, then we will do five more times. So one single stitch, then increase. Single stitch, increase. One single stitch, then increase. One single stitch, increase. Then increase. One single stitch, then increase. Single stitch. Let's transfer our stitch marker. In round four, the pattern is one single stitch on each chain. We will repeat this pattern for rounds five and six. Now pause the video and finish off three rounds and then get back when you're done. Now we're done with round six. On round seven, we will start to decrease the round. But before that, let's put some fiber fill. The pattern for round 7 is, let's stitch together the first 2 stitches and then 1 single stitch and the next 4 chains. Uh, I stitch together by doing this. Insert the hook on the 2 chains, then grab 1 rubber band and then pull through. this and then make a loop then hook the first loop and pull through the other two loops next pattern is one single stitch and the next four chains so one Again, we will repeat this pattern two more times. So, stitch together the two chains. Grab a rubber band, pull through. Then hook the loop and pull through. Then again, one single stitch in the next four chains. 
If I'm getting too fast, please pause the video, then get back when you're done. Again, we will stitch together. Then one single stitch in the last four chains. So one, let's transfer our stitch marker to the last stitch. For round 8, the pattern is one single stitch on the first two chains. One, two. Next, let's stitch together the next two chains. One single stitch in the next three chains. Two, three. We'll stitch together the next two chains. Again, one single stitch and the next three chains. One, two, three. Then two st stitch two together. One single stitch and the last chain. Now we're done with our round eight. We should end up having 12 chains. In round 9, the pattern is to stitch 2 together, first 2 chains, then 1 single stitch in the next 2 chains. So stitch together. single stitch in the next two chains. So the pattern was repeated three times. On round 10, 11, 12, the pattern is one single stitch in each chain and we'll be using the yellow. So, 1, 3, 4, Seven, eight, nine. Let's repeat this pattern for three more rounds. 
pause the video and get back when you're done. Now we're done with the four rounds of yellow. We will shift to pink. And it's the same. So one single stitch on each chain. This will be for five rounds. Rounds 14 to 19. Begin. Two. Three. Four. Continue doing this for 5 rounds, then pause the video and come back when you're done. Now we're done with round 19. In round 20, we will put one round of white pattern is one single stitch on each chain. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're done with round 20. For the next round, it's turquoise from rounds 21 to 23. Same pattern, one single stitch on each chain. So one, two. Continue doing this to complete the uh, three rounds. Now we're done with our turquoise.